All right, this is the moment you guys have been waiting for. Let's check out the inside of this bad boy. How's it going, guys? Welcome back to the Pilot Patriot channel. Today we're going to be talking about this awesome heavy-duty gun case. Now, a lot of times your soft rifle cases are going to do just fine for most of your rifles, for your average AR-15s and things like that. But if you have some type of precision rifle or just something you spend a lot of money on, or maybe you do a lot of traveling and you need some type of TSA approved hard rifle case, you may need to go with something like this here. Now, I looked at a bunch of different brands. Um, obviously, I looked at Pelican. Pelican, to me, it's a very, very nice case. There's no doubt about that. But it does tend to be a little bit overpriced. On the other end of that spectrum, I looked at Plano, and now Plano has a nice looking case as well, and it has some pretty good features, but I don't think it's gonna be near as rugged or as heavy duty as something like this case I have right here. I also looked at Harbor Freight. Now, Harbor Freight has some really nice rifle cases. I think it's under the brand name Apache, and they almost got me. That's a really nice rifle case, uh, very similar to what you see here as far as the outer shell. But what a lot of these rifle cases have is that pluck and pull type foam on the inside. Now that is great because it's super easy to customize. The problem is a lot of times that pluck and pull just isn't dense enough. It does a lot of moving around. It tears really easily and things like that. So it's easy to mess up. And ultimately I decided on this one here. This is from Case Club. Now Case Club not only makes these really nice rugged heavy duty cases but the big thing about case club is the foam that's on the inside now they have their very own foam it's a really high density foam uh, now it's not pluck and pull you are going to have to cut it out yourself but you can get ultra customizable that way and you'll see in a minute when we open this case up just how much nicer that foam actually is than something like that pluck and pull foam you see in the harbor freight or the plano so let's open this case up. I'll show you what it looks like on the inside and we'll look at some of the features here. If you like these kind of videos, guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Hit that notification bell so you get notified every time we upload new videos and give us a thumbs up. We really appreciate that. Let's check this bad boy out. All right, now looking here on the outside, you can see it and it has a really nice heavy duty carry handle and some really good latches here. These latches are easy to open, easy to close, but they really lock it down nice and tight. Something else you notice here is it does have two points on the top of the case where you can put a padlock and these are metal reinforced, so that's nice. See down here on the end, it does have a carry handle like this on both ends of the case and it's gonna have these nice rubber wheels. This case does tend to get a little heavy, especially once you get a rifle in there. So uh, those wheels are really nice for moving it around. The hinges on the back end are really heavy duty. It looks like those are gonna stand up to a lot of use, so I don't see any issues there. It does have five separate hinge points on there. It's definitely gonna secure it well uh, all the way down the length of the case. And for those of you that are going to do any traveling on airplanes with this case, it does have a pressure valve here on the front so you can release that inside pressure before you open the case. Now let's open this bad boy up and check out the inside. All right, this is the moment you guys have been waiting for. Let's check out the inside of this bad boy. Now, as you guys can see, I do already have something special inside this case. I have done a video on that, so make sure you check that out. I'll put a link to that right here at the top of the screen. First thing I want you guys to notice is that it does have a really nice, dense, 
closed cell foam. It's not going to do near as much moving around as that soft uh, pluck and pull foam. And that's actually a good thing. It's definitely going to support the rifle. And this stuff right here is really rigid. It's not going to tear with extended use pulling the gun in and out of the case. But let's get this rifle out of here so you can see how I cut it out. All right, so when you're cutting this thing out, there's a couple ways to do it. Now, Case Club does send you a uh, little blade that you can cut this foam with. I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys know that blade they send with this thing is a piece of crap. Throw it in the trash and get you out a steak knife or like one of those electric turkey cutting knives. That's gonna be your best bet for cutting this thing all the way through because it is a nice thick piece of foam. It does have layers of foam, so it's gonna have your bottom piece uh, but then this top thick piece of foam, it has layers in it as well. So if you look here, you can see that where my buttstock and my grip are, I have a little bit higher. So I just cut out a smaller piece of the foam to fit in there because those parts of the rifle sit higher than the receiver does. So that'll help get it really secure. So you, you can really fit your case to the different levels of the rifle or shotgun or whatever you're putting into this case. This case is 51 inches long. They do have shorter versions. I believe the 51 is the longest one they make. It has plenty of room for extras. As you can see, I've cut out some spots here for the 308 magazines and still have plenty of other real estate to add a spot for a suppressor or anything like that. Any other accessories, you got plenty of extra real estate to add those in. Now on the lid of the case, you're gonna have this softer egg crate style foam, and that's just gonna support the rifle from the top and uh, keep everything in place. All right, guys, now you do not have to be an artist or anything to cut this out. Go ahead and get you a ruler, get you a marker and mark everything out and just trace the rifle to start with and go back and then make your cuts. It is nice to have a blade that can go all the way through that foam. Uh, and something that doesn't flex too much. That was the problem with the blade that they sent. And as you can see, guys, I obviously did not do a perfect job. I do have a couple imperfections here. Another thing that's really great about this foam is you can easily fix those things by just adding a little hot glue in there and gluing it back and that will secure it and, and keep it in the shape that you want it. All right, guys, we'll drop the rifle back in here and you can see how nicely everything fits in. Really love this type of case, guys. If you're interested in getting something like this for yourself, I will put a link to it in the description below, along with some of the other cases that I looked at. All right, guys, now that is the 51 inch heavy duty rifle case from Case Club. Really love this thing. Hope you liked the video, guys. If you did, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Give us a thumbs up. If you want to help support the channel you can do that by joining us on patreon you can also visit pilotpatriotapparel.com and don't forget to hit those links in the description below uh, youtube's really starting to cut down on these types of videos so all the support you can give us does help thanks for watching guys please like share and subscribe and we'll see you next time